Welcome back to my pizza party. My name is Rach. Thank you for clicking on this video and choosing to hang out with me today. If you're new to my party, I hope that you'll subscribe and click on the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a video. Today, I want to give you guys a life update um, on my summer, or I guess since Easter. Um, Cause that's the last time I posted a video, my little peep challenge with Kiara. And so I thought I would do a life update because I have some exciting videos that I'm so psyched to film. Um, I have a new segment coming to my channel that I'm so excited to do. Um, so yeah, but first, um, the first thing I want to mention, cause it's the obvious one, is that I cut all my hair off. Um, it was a very, I wouldn't say dramatic, but it was a very big moment for me this summer. Um, it was at the beginning of the summer, so my hair has grown a little bit since then, and I'm actually going to get a haircut today. So here's some footage from the day that I cut my hair. Today I'm so excited and so nervous. Um, if you saw my beginning of the year video, um... I said that at some point during the year I was going to cut my hair, and today is the day. It is currently 10.30 and I have an appointment at 11.15, so in 45 minutes I'm going to see about getting my hair cut, chopped off. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to do much uh, or any recording at the salon. Um, I've actually never been to a salon. Um, my mom usually always cuts my hair, but I thought this time I am thinking about donating it and I want to get um, layers, which my mom is not a hairdresser, so she cannot do. So I'm going to go to a salon. So anyway, I'm not going to feel comfortable enough uh, filming in the salon, but I'm going to show you guys some befores and afters. Let's go look at what it looks like in the mirror at the complete length. Okay, so this is my hair and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to commit to cutting it to my shoulders. Look at how much that would donate though. So, I don't know if I can commit to that emotionally. This is going away. <laughs> I have not cut my hair to like shoulder length in like eight years. So this is going to be an adventure. I'm probably going to cry. I can't believe this is the day. Later. All right. <laughs> I show you guys the big reveal. It's all gone. I'm actually super obsessed with it. It feels like fuller. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I cut my hair. It's so weird. I was, um, I do this like weird thing where I like reach in the back to like touch my hair and there's none. No hair. I can't believe I went from down here and now it's up here. But I am obsessed. I went and saw Morgan Duffy. Shout out to her. She made me look beautiful. Go check her out. I literally gave her a picture and she made me look exactly like the picture. She did the, ex the haircut exactly how I wanted it. It was time for a change. So I'm moving a lot. I'm just so excited. Um, it was time for a change and I'm so happy. I'm so happy about this. This is all my hair that I cut off. Piece right here is 15 inches long. So they're all like between 12 and 15 inches. And I can't believe I cut that much off. I can't believe my hair grew that much. I donated my hair, I cut off 15 inches. I donated it to children with hair loss. That organization I found that was really cool. They donate to not just alopecia patients and not just cancer patients, but any kid that has any um, medical condition that causes them to lose hair. Um, so that includes burn victims, 
um, and the kids don't pay for it at all. And I was super excited to send my hair off for some kiddos. Also, this summer, I graduated college! Finally, I graduated. I know that in the past I've been like, oh, I haven't been, you know, I couldn't finish Vlogmas or I've taken a break off, break from YouTube because I was trying to get my degree, I had classes and working full time, and it was very difficult for me to find time to film and hang out with you guys. Finally graduated, which is part of the reason that I'm coming back to YouTube because now I have more time. And the college experience for me, I know, was different than some people. I chose not to live on campus. I went to community college first, and that's okay. Um, and actually, that does save a lot of money. I graduated, and here is a couple pictures from my graduation party. Um, my friends came out, my family came out, and we all celebrated, and it was so much fun. I'm kind of zipping through these, but... Third thing this summer, which is probably my favorite thing that happened <laughs> this summer, is that I got engaged. If you guys have noticed in this video yet, I don't know if you can tell, but I have an engagement ring on. I'm so happy. It's awesome. I've talked about him a little bit before, but Tim is such a good guy. And then here is a picture from our engagement. <laughs> he proposed at Disney World in front of the castle on the 4th of July, and it was honestly the most magical moment in my life. And this is the third time we had gone to Disney together, so this trip was definitely the most magical out of all of them because we got engaged and when you are celebrating something at Disney World, all the cast members make you feel important, are like celebrating with you and it's amazing. And so it was definitely the most magical Disney trip I have ever taken. So like I was saying before, I took a break because I was finishing college. Um, I ended up having to do some more stuff over the summer um, and then working a lot. I also was trying to relax after being very stressed, especially the last year of school. Like I said, going to school full time, working full time is hard, man. Like, people do it. If you do that, kudos. If you don't, whatever you're doing that's working for you, just keep working. And if you're going for a degree, get the degree. For me personally, it was just that's what I chose to do. And it was difficult a lot of the time. I have a degree now, so I'm very excited. And yeah, it took me a little longer than it takes some people, and that's okay too. Like, when I was trying to prep for videos and stuff, I didn't. This is actually the second time I filmed this video. Um, and now I have this cool background because we got a new bed, and now we have a guest room. So I'll be filming. This is also my office, so my desk is back there, but I'm just very excited about the whole thing. So yeah, there will be a new segment coming to my channel. I will be talking about different games and shows that I watched as a kid or played as a kid that I found this list is wild to me because they were very prominent games or shows in my childhood. Like I remember them, most of them pretty well. When I've brought them up to people, they don't know what I'm talking about. So. My brother knows, because obviously we grew up together, so he played the same games and watched the same shows, so like, he is like the only person that knows everything on that list. So anyway, I hope that you guys will watch it, because it will might jog your memory, maybe you do actually know some of these, um, and if not, maybe you're a nostalgic nerd like me, and you'll just be interested in learning about some different shows and games that Apparently we're not very popular, which I'm a little surprised about some of them, but whatever. So I hope you guys will come back for that, and I have a couple other videos I'm excited to film. So I'm just excited to be back, and I hope you guys will keep choosing to hang out with me and coming back to my pizza party. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're excited about my new segment, give it a thumbs up. And until next time... I don't have an outro. <laughs>